Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Have fun. Expect to win. That's long been the mantra around Vanderbilt Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee, the site of today's showdown. Both teams on the field. Warm-ups concluding right now as both hope to strike the winning note in Music City, USA. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Tennessee, where the fans are anxious for the game to kick off. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Kentucky will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. Tackle at the 21-yard line. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Gets the ball. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. around the 31 yard line the quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down he gets out to about the 32 yard line and they keep it on the ground for the first down nothing too fancy here the key is that the running back was able to convert the first down First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. throws a dart to the left. They bring him down at the 28-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. From the 28-yard line, first down. Here's a run. Well, give the defense all the credit here. And that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss.
from the 11 yard line. First down. He's taken down at the one yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Vanderbilt! And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's check in on some Big 12 action. And for Kansas, they've won two straight. The Jayhawks roll by 19. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Alford, ready to kick. From the center. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Kirk, today we get to watch one of the great wide receivers in college football. Alford's footwork, his great hands, his speed, he is a dangerous offensive weapon. No doubt, Brad. He's really one of the most exciting players to watch in college football. He catches everything that's thrown his way and is a legitimate deep threat downfield to make big plays for this offense. He's going to face some double, sometimes even triple team coverage. And I think today, this defense, they might do a decent job of slowing him down, but eventually, he's too dangerous. He's going to make some big plays. and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Gaining 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. By two, by two. Kill, kill, kill. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds at the 27-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Brought down at the 27. Tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 24. Hudson gets him about three yards with a completion. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. Kill, kill, kill. And he's tackled at about the 23 yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 23. Zips it to the back. And down he goes around the 24-yard line. long field goal attempts. Kicks away. And he got it! Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Sooners take the field today, number 14 in the nation. And for Oklahoma, they've surged into the lead. The Sooners are out front, 3-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Wilson, Kentucky lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. I was 
really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And that one's fallen incomplete. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. Put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Vanderbilt holds a four-point lead. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. From their own 24-yard line. Third down. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Griffin to punt. And he muffed it. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Vanderbilt leads it 7-3. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. First down grab by the receiver, and he's taken down at about the 35. First down. made around the 23-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Hey, kill, kill, kill! And that one's incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. Second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Big play, and it's first and goal. That's a gain of 13 on the way. That makes it first and goal. Almost intercepted there. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. From the 10-yard line, second down. He's out of bounds around the four-yard line. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it 30 He's under pressure. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and it is good. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Kentucky to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. They'll bring him down at the 21. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Vanderbilt up a point. He passes it. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Oh. 
from their own 43 yard line. It's first down. Third down now, and they're going to need about four. Steps up in the pocket. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Lacey will be the return man. Looking for the corner, and down he goes at the 34-yard line. Kentucky's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does, and now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit, and they're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep, and you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around, and you have a good idea of how you want to attack a defense. Ball is loose, fumble! about four yards away here on second down. He gets hit out of bounds around the 47 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. It to the 45 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Mason is the putter. And here's the... Wait a minute, the up-back's got it. He's taken down at the 45. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Vanderbilt is up one. Fires it out. And they make the stop at the 49. That makes it second and six. From their own 49-yard line. It's second down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. 
Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. We've got a second and five. Ball in the 34. the 32 yard line the draw play gets maybe two yards that brings up fourth and three fourth down and the offense is still on the field Six-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 26. Vanderbilt with a one-point lead. And they push him out around the 25-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Inside the 10. He's taken down at the five yard line. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Uh, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They're at the five. Second down. They come out on an empty backfield. on that reception. The Wildcats taking their first time out of the half. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kentucky can take the lead here with this field goal. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Sooners took the field ranked 14th in the nation and hoping that an impressive win could move them higher in the standings. Let's take yet another peek at this game. The Sooners keep pounding away on the ground, and they find Pater. Oklahoma has the edge, 23-7. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. The Wildcats in front by two. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always. 
to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back to the action. It's the second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 34. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. He chucks it downfield. And he's tackled right around the 14-yard line. Kentucky with a two-point advantage. He's got it with room to run. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. Big extra point here. It'll put him up by two scores. And he adds the extra point. So a short three play, 66 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Mason looks ready to kick this one off. Wilson from the three. Tackle at the 33 yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Uh, let's find out. Receiving team. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes, right around the 20. Gets eight yards on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Makes it to the 22-yard line. seven-yard line. Second down. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That makes it third and three. And they'll 
will still be a little short of the first down line. Well, they get some positive yards, but this defensive line really busted through and broke that play up. Griffin is waiting for the snap. And he's taken down at the 48. the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. And I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. They go with the run. He's at the 40. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. They come out in a five-wide set. Got it, but they're going to lose yards. He will tackle immediately. That's a loss of about three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up second and 13. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 31. And a huge touchdown play. Kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. He's in for the conversion. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Barnes from the four. He got hit hard. Alford's performance today has been sensational. Yeah, Brad, one thing about this guy is just his knowledge of the scheme and what they're trying to do. And I think that's really what separates him and allows him to be such a dominating player. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Nice run there. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. yard line second down he goes out of bounds right around the 46 yard line and 10. Ball on the 47. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line.
So at the end of the third quarter, the Wildcats lead 24-7. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. They'll spread the field with five wide. Barnes is intending to see more the play. That makes it third and And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Well, they've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Knocked out of bounds around the 22-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. play of this drive. the PAT. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Wide out makes the first down catch. Tackle around the 24-yard line. That makes it first and ten. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Check, check. Caught out of the open. Touchdown, Wildcats. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Mason gets set to kick this one away. Wilson from the six. And down he goes at the 23. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. 
They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. Going deep, lays it up there. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Just under three to go in regulation. Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. That'll make it fourth and six. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defense has changed things up as they try to stop these guys. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He's taken down at the 29. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29. Dog four, yellow three. Run, 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 run. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. That makes it second and two. Inside the 10. He's tackled around the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Wildcats get the victory, 31-14. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.